It's the final part of the Mad World LP. Can't believe we made Wait, does it. Wait, does it actually separate the part areas? Yeah. Oh, no, I think, I think it's just, yeah, it's just, yeah it's just the, the tower and then the, the boss is like, yeah. The, the, oh, both. I, did, I, I thought, for some reason, I thought this was one entire map that you had to do. I don't know. <laughs> it's literally called Casino Land. I love it. And even, like, from the map, it looks like what, uh like, how every Pokemon city looks like in, like, a movie. For some reason, they always make all their stupid big cities look like a Pokeball. Something about the facility. <laughs> We're still looking into that. I have another analyst working on it. But I do I do really like the whole Mad World map, like the whole different sections. Because uh, you, you can go back to do each individual section to, to grind out for a high score, right? Yeah. Nice. 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 Yeah. nice. Yeah. Gotta get, gotta get those. It's not quite that age yet, but you gotta get those platinum trophies. You, know? you gotta get S plus plus rank. Yeah, I think that started with Bayonetta, which was, I think, their third game they made. Well, and then that well, gets its basis from Devil May Cry, so it, it's kind of... True. Yeah, so... But did Devil May Cry have an actual, like, score system, or was it more just, like, the, the, depending on what you did? The attacks had, like, the score associated, so, like, as your combo was better and better on the side, you would, like, a B would pop up, and then it would turn yeah. to an A, and so it wasn't quite, like... How it was hard and rigid, sort of like like Vanna has the hard and rigid. Like this is your chapter, and that's from uh, that's from Carrier, isn't it? Because I because I think that's where like the way that that game is really set up is through from Carrier. Um, and then the Wonderful 101 sort of changes it up by doing the same like. Well, it does it the same way that uh, Bayonetta does it, where you get ranked for individual sections in a level, and then that gives you the level rank, and then you go at the end of the game. It gives you the, all of your different level ranks for your end of game rank. Yeah, I know uh, Transformers Devastation did that. All of, yeah, that... It, 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 like Platinum for all its initiative quirks and fun did kind of fall into a rut there where the games were starting to get structured very similarly. Uh, partially that could be because a lot of those games were licensed tie-in games so like the core game does it too but again it's I, I can see that being more Platinum games trying to make money make some coin to stay alive you know girls gotta eat but um, but I mean they still made good games. They're still great, great games at their bases it's just I wouldn't even see it as a negative I would just say it as a critique just that Platinum games for a while there did have very similar structure bases just in terms of level progression but they've they've changed it up um, i haven't played astral chain or spectral change whatever that one i haven't played that one so i'm not too sure how much they may have like mixed up the formula in terms of their whole like uh you know the combat and how that's graded in terms of your performance yeah Oh, this is also pretty Bayonetta-y too, huh? Like this is. Yep. We got the elevator section uh, from every beat 'em up ever. It, this wouldn't be Going. an arcade-inspired game if it did it. Like it, even Scott Pilgrim has this shit. And it's a mini boss rush essentially. Cool. Yeah, you, I, I, yeah, you fight. You fight like I think like three, three or four mini boss. Yeah, you, you, fight, you fight. You fight this guy. You fight. Uh, I think you fight one of the. You fight, you fight which, one of the drill guys. I think again. Uh, but, but first, we gotta take out the first, the fourth Magus sister. Yeah. <laughs> Bong. I missed. <laughs> I missed! Oops. He's a big ass target! I think the ground slam is not good for. Bo oh, and. It was oh, they gave you plenty of time to do clash with him. Okay, why did that hit you? <laughs> no one said this was a Husky run. Okay, I'm still wondering how that's not, like, actually crushing him. Because the spice physics. is, like, still... And a punch again. And then you gotta just defeat, yeah, the rest of the enemies. How are yeah. there tinier versions of him, though? Where did Mag we magic. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and, uh, you don't uh, question uh, these things in the same level where we, these guys have like a actual like actual aliens. Yeah, and all, 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 all the tiny ones are like the most annoying to deal with. Yeah, it might even be a bit more effective to then use the slam, the chainsaw slam for with these guys uh, versus yeah. or versus the bit the one big solo guy. This is quite a shit. These... <laughs> this is very predictable. <laughs> I don't know. Platinum games though to have like 
the elevator boss rush section at the end, but at the same time, it's, it's a little disappointing. I mean, like the the area I mean, 51 section and the whole casino, even the the casino level down below was doing pretty good, but uh, the fact that we have to I mean, they stop kind of at an yeah. elevator. I mean, I think, what was it, Transformer Devastation did change this up a bit, but instead of an elevator, it's just like one long corridor with slightly different corridors you can go between. Yeah, and I mean, this isn't even like the worst Platinum Games uh, boss rush at section at the end. I mean, uh, uh, Metal Gear Revengeance, like that, <laughs> where you didn't even get to fight all of the wins again. They only brought back two of them, like as robots. And yeah, that. <laughs> what? Yeah, it is weird. It is weird. I've yet to play Metal Gear Rising, so I don't know. Yet. <laughs> Whoa. But uh, no, because Bar Rising, Rising ha ha has the best final boss of them all, so it kind of makes yeah. up for it. Yeah. What the bosses in general? I mean, I I'm honestly of the opinion that Mistral's theme is the best of the Winds of Fate's theme. So, but I just think it's really interesting oh. that with <laughs> that game, especially that they focus so much on doing making these memorable bosses. And then they're like, okay, we're going to bring our bosses back. And then they don't even bring them all back. It's like, what, what the fuck were you doing? Why? Yeah. You put the work in. I mean, you had sheets of yeah, work. Was... Like, use them. Especially when that's basically <laughs> video game, like, cliche 137 is just reuse your bosses. Reuse them. Boss rush, yeah. I, I, I mentioned this uh, mentioned this a couple times before, but like I think like, in comparison to something like No More Heroes, which is like probably the game that, that like, you would most compare this game to, is that I feel like that, that game does a better job like making the bosses feel like actual characters because like you get a good sense of who each person is like before you fight them and then yeah. you give it, and then as well as giving them yeah. like a unique final like a, a unique boss fight while in this game it's more so just kind of you have a cool design you have a cool fight but you don't really like you don't really know or care about them as characters they're just kind of they're just kind of things that you fight and that's almost something that's yeah. uniquely whole to no more heroes one in fact is that the way that the game structures like those bosses the way that it structures where you know where so Q is seen you know Travis is riding his motorcycle into an area and then all of a sudden you, you get the black and white and then you get that you get that whole like scene and then you get a quick cutscene that kind of goes to what the character what's his dealio um, and then right before the boss fight you had a whole nother cutscene that kind of revealed the the personality of the boss fight and you know it's why all the bosses for No More Heroes are so memorable because you had those pre-fight scenes that in No More Heroes 2 they made the decision to change so that rather than the bosses having this introductory scene where you know you interpreted ha how that character might act or you kind of got the personality from how the character talked instead they changed it to just a straight up phone conversation where yo Margaret's this girl. She's a little cray cray, but I think she has like something to do with the moon. I don't know anything about that. And so, like, every boss just gets this phone conversation that just lays out their spiel and their deal. And I mean, you get the same amount of information relatively, but because it's delivered in a much different way, you get that less memorable impact. And so, I feel like one thing for No More Heroes 2, where it is a better video game than No More Heroes 1. Um, I feel No More Heroes 2 is not that great of like, like an art piece or like as as a media thing. No More Heroes 2 is is needed to improve on some things to be as grand as one, even though two is a better game and like plays better and stuff like that. I forget this one. They just introduce all the this this area. Yeah, all they the just big make guys, you all these big guys. All of the big guys. Like this is just a Thursday night with me and the lads. <laughs> also, uh, you, 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 were, you, you were saying about how you, you don't really know about Margaret. It's like, we do know about Margaret. Margaret is Greek, you geek. I know, it and it a means pearl. a pearl. And all. It's just, but the thing is, she's the most memorable. Like, and anytime I got a bring up No More Heroes, she's like, oh, that's always reminds y'all. Our, our nighttime Lolita queen. But, I mean, it stands, because you have the other bosses. Like, because I can't remember their names, but you have, like, Toxic uh, Area 51 girl. You had cheerlead squad with the football robot fake harley <laughs> a fake harley quinn i did have fake harley with yeah, her recorder harley. with her recorder dual lightsaber kimmy i think is her name oh yeah kimmy yeah Kimmy's pretty memorable too like i it, i like that they stuck that around with the whole like the girls that are obsessed with travis you just really want to murder him because um Shit, what's her name? Because the other character, too, that you play as in No More Heroes 2, like, she also heard yeah, initials, and she wants to kill Travis. This is fun, you know? People relate course, to Travis Henry. by just Henry. wanting to murder him. Y'all always gotta love Henry. Oh, uh, Henry, motherfucker. <laughs> 
But yeah, no, um, I could see why, you know, more of those comparisons with No More Heroes to Mad World, but really with, you know, with the favor of time, now that we've seen other games that Platinum Games has made, like, honestly, I would start just making more comparisons that, you know, Mad World is just that step into uh, Metal Gear Rising. Like, I'd probably start comparing it more to Metal Gear Rising nowadays. I mean, it gets a lot more comparisons to the previous Platinum Games God Hand, just kind of do the proximity of development and similarities in design there, but I feel like the No More Hero comparison is definitely just more based on the console and the time frame, that they were released around the same time, so they were just getting compared all the time, but I feel like now that we've well, no, now that no we've given Heroes ourselves a decade to look, it's like, yeah. eh, not New More really. Heroes 2 came out in New More Heroes 2 came out in 2009 as well, I believe. Yeah, so like yeah. it was just really just a very common design, is what I think. See it more as, I, w I was wrong. No, No More Heroes Two came out in 2010, a year later. Yeah, so so, yeah, so Mad World was sandwiched in between No More Heroes One and Two. In between the heroes, oh no. Yeah. Fine. So I mean, like it's very possible. Also, <laughs> it's very possible. Also, my my uh, my uh, my uh, video paused for a second. What time? What time are you at? Oh, baby, is we 2012 in this playthrough? Yes, we are. Oh, let's do it. So 11, 23, 24, 25. Ah, perfect. I got it. All right. So I'm just gonna make sure that my Pamela didn't crash because you know Skype can be a fickle bitch like that. Oh, good times, man. <laughs> Than yeah, you can see the, the, this, this guy. This guy, like, look. I mean, it, it, it's literally just Don Corleone from Godfather. It's, it's, just, it's just literally that. It's just literally that got that that uh that Marlon Brando that archetype. I mean, yeah. Kingpin is, is that except when people, Kingpin, yeah, whenever people, fatter. but whenever people go really fun and just make Kingpin inhuman, I love when they just decide. You know, he does not need to have human proportions. They just say <laughs> Spider Verse. His <laughs> Spider Verse. He's just a giant ball. Just making him a square make him a square yes yes because like think about it like this is it's a it's the same universe that the blob and misty and all other miss not human shaped humans are so like why do you why would you make keep him like human shaped no like go all out make him weird this whole purpose thing of yours it's very zen it's just kind of hard to share getting some philosophy from that uh from jack here trivial jack I See, but this is where we get another plot twist, actually, yeah, about the whole purpose of the games. Class, the original purpose. Class consciousness. Well, the original purpose of the games. Nations, cultures, gods, like all the games before. I wanted to see the losers pay with more. <laughs> I wanted to send bitches to the shadow realm. Capish? <laughs> also, this is where we fully see like the 13's model, and you see that he has like a ponytail in the back. He does it, which kind of surprised. <clears throat> I, that surprised me when I first found out. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, but he says yeah, that this isn't normally Death Watch. Death Watch changed. So you're telling me that the organizers. It, I mean, it, 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 it's funny to think because it's like, it's like, oh, the, this guy has like, yeah, the, 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 such a oh. distinct voice. He has such a distinct voice, and I'm like, oh yeah, I keep forgetting. Oh yeah, this guy, this guy's Captain Cork. <laughs> And that's kind of like interesting, Jim too, to play on that, that, oh, the game is different than it was before, considering we are playing this game, Mad World, that takes place specifically on whichever number of Death Watch this is, so we don't have the context of the previous game, so I like when games kind of do that. I know some people might get annoyed by using that sort of dramatic twist of characters knowing the past of the in-world that the gamer doesn't really know, but I think that's always kind of neat, specifically with the context of a Death Watch game playing your game my name's leo yeah i mean not even a uh, jack and uh, mala knew what the original game was true was i guess like they they 13 was the only i think 13 and any of the other sponsors that stayed around were the only ones who knew about the previous death watch games and, and so that was not only for not only that was that for us but that was good for jack and it's both for jack and the player to learn death watch has changed how funny would it be if they had brought in the uh, the announcers then as characters too yeah, I'm surprised they never bring in the announcers as characters. Like they're just separate. Like there are yeah. just separate voices in this yeah, game. Yeah, especially because one of the guy, like the 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 John Dimaggio guy, is is like a former Death Watch player. Yeah, he he's the color commentator. He has pre experience with previous games. So like, maybe like kind of like the masters. They should have just know, this whole two two on just... one fight. They already done. Yeah, one. just make up the final they, boss. Yeah, they could they could have made them like that. That that would have been. I mean, like the, this this final boss is already pretty cool. But it's like that would have been even better if they were the final bosses. <laughs> well, and, and they how, were just up here. No, 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 not even the final boss. 
up here announcing? Second to last. That way you have the last level with no commentary over it. Oh, oh that, that would have been that would have been interesting. Yeah, because he killed him. And so then it's like, well, who's left? Like, well, who else is working in on the show and wants to get you down? This entire twist with the, the whole final boss is so hype. Wow. <laughs> the it's, it's, wow, it's just it's like an esports tournament. It really is. Also, um, just with the context of coronavirus and the whole thing, like, you know, Jack is possibly carrying a deadly virus. Why well, the pack stadium? Not a good idea, guys. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Wait, wait, is it, wait, is it actually packed or is there like... I don't know if it's remember, actually... It, <laughs> maybe I was just like doing it in my mind. But I'm thinking like, man, all those seats, all those people watching Jack. Shouldn't have been there. You gotta remember, there were also people. A lot of the people who were stuck inside the games were dead. Unless these are all like the billionaires who were putting in money for the game. Everyone in that bubble it, with the Jack is dead. You know, it's kind of the whole Rorschach. He's not trapped with them; they're trapped with him. So really, <laughs> this is so really. This, this, this is the only like the, explanation is either these are not actually people humans. Waving flags. Oh God. Oh, so so it might just be like the millionaires. No, or th this this is this is just like the end of Rise of Skywalker, where where the Emperor just has suddenly this huge selection of people in a stadium to watch over his baptism, and it's like, where do they come from? Who are they? Oh, no one knows. but here we go. And here Best we go. twist of the game. The Black Baron. Yeah, the final boss of the game is the guy who's pretty much died every single time. Oh, y'all wanted a twist, eh? Well. How about an immortal oh, final gosh. boss? Hey, can we talk about his music? I blame our schools. <laughs> it, that, that, I use that line all the time. Just yeah. all the time. People always wonder why I sing. It's like, just gotta play Mad World. Also, yeah, his, his assistant, yeah, is gonna be part of the fight. You can't like do, now you she can't do that. You have to kill him for me. You killed him all those times. Help me kill him again. <laughs> She's the only one strong enough. Oh, but this part is so cool. Wait, he Bitch. Just, this is a Yakuza moment right here. <laughs> I, I was just about to say, this is where he turns into a JoJo villain. But, I mean, yeah. I mean, look, he's even got the stars oh, the on music. his body. God, the music. <laughs> yeah, this song is great. <laughs> yes. Death watches the teeth. Oh, but here's. Oh, it's the, got the little girl. Yeah, the little. Uh, yeah, it, 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 girls. because you saved the geisha girls earlier, they are willing to help you out for the fight. And trust me, you are going to need them if you're not quick on reaction time. <laughs> so, what you're telling this me is that this... Mad World has a deep and intricate morality system where your actions in game affect the final boss fight? <gasps> Oh my god. Uh, I don't nope, think so because I nope, think you because have to actually they, save the geisha yeah, girls. You, in yeah, the you, 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 can't, you can't actually not save them. You all, they are, they're, they're automatically saved all the time. So no. So, Shh, that would be cool. I'm trying that would to, be cool trying if to you make could the actually box do, art yeah. better, right? How else are the gamers supposed to buy and play the game? <laughs> now, what would have made this cooler is if Jack also ripped off his jacket. Enter the yeah. ring of madness adjacent no, you, to the you, garden you of madness. You can't do that or else it would be too gay. No, but it's Yakuza. <laughs> Yakuza allowed to be gay. This is not. Everything's allowed well, to be gay. It's just whether it chooses to be. Oh. Yeah. But now we have. Yeah, but the Black Baron is <laughs> tough. Choose. He's pretty like, tough. But I, I wouldn't say he's like as annoying as somebody like. I, I feel like he, he he's like the per he's he's the perfect uh, difficulty for a final boss. Yeah. Like, and uh, even with like the later phase, because he has two phases. But uh, yeah, the first phase, he's quick. And they're like bringing he's back quick. the tornado mechanics because, you know, all these good bosses got to have a nice wind elemental. Yeah, but I think his is more just less wind elemental and more him just like, he's so fast on what, what his attacks that it creates a wind vortex. And also, yeah, his his assistant is waiting for you outside the ring, so he can knock you out and push you in. So oh, it, uh, so it can't be a platinum game without the platinum power struggle right here. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is classic. Oh, shit. I lost. Damn. Oh, poor Stefan. 
you know what? I, I feel like a lot of the problem is that, like, 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 like you saw at the begin. Well, like, uh, I don't know, no, you didn't see, but at the beginning of this, uh, part, like, the beginning of this LP, my, like, nunchuck was fucking up. So I get uh, really, yeah, I get really nervous doing those, like, crazy sl like, slashes. I'm worried my nunchuck's gonna break. Yeah. But I love this pun. I love that pun. Those, like, every. Yeah, every but punch, this is yeah. really cool because he, like, he's hitting you, but you're hitting him too, and then it's like, you win. And I don't think you lose, I don't think you lose life. Yeah, you don't lose life. Wouldn't that be? That'd no, be a you don't lose too much. It'd be appropriate, but yeah, but no, but it's just much. cool. And then we get, and then the song changes when he gets angry for so cold. Uh, ow! Oh, be careful with this attack. It's an insta kill. <laughs> yeah, it's an insta kill, and you have to like, yeah, because you have to like the, the easiest way to jump away is if you're doing back up. But if you don't, like, if you don't, if the camera isn't like in the right part when you're backing up, you'll back up right into the tornado. Oh, that's God. really the only problem with this. That's really the only problem with the fight, really. It's just that tornado, that attack could easily get yeah, but, by but, it. But, but, but if you are far, oh, oh yeah, see, I, that's, I, um, I, I don't know how I dodged that, because I literally backed Whoa. up right into it. That was intense, that was close. Oh, I think, yeah, I guess your invincibility frames just helped you out in the end. When in doubt, I guess that's another way to do it, you, you go, you go into it and then immediately dodge. Yeah, I'm like, stay away, oh. Yeah, and you can dodge your swings really easily too. Yeah, that like, was, uh, I don't know. Platinum is just. I think Platinum is just good at making final boss fight. Oh, you're, you're not insta kill. To the moon. Oh, okay, no. No, I die. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I ended up like f I ended up falling into the. Yeah, I, <laughs> I love how they bring you in the helicopter. They, <laughs> they drop. You they drop for some reason. Yeah, for some reason, falling in the falling in the thing that time wasn't an insta kill. They just oh. drop you to the side and then just drop you there. Huh. I like how the in universe Lakitu is just a, an Apache helicopter. <laughs> oh, this is okay. I think this is like. Oh no, that's just a Hadouken. Because he has another. He has a second power struggle. There it is. This is the one. I'm, no, not a power struggle. Just the reaction. Oh shit! He goes in for the thunder kick and everything. Holy cow! Thunderstruck. Foot dive. He's gonna convert that into a full combo. Like every other Doctor Doom player does. Ooh, foot to dive. I love when when a and, move is so oh, OP so that they made an entire adjacent fighting game just with that one move. Because you can convert it off everything. It's insane. It's so good. Doctor Doom was not a character that shouldn't have been good because his assists are better. But gosh dang, he's he's way too good. <laughs> um, and he's like the, the easiest character to learn too. Marvel versus Capcom. Yeah. Well, it's because they won't which, bring it which back. One? Which, which it, one? It was, doesn't was it matter. Two? It was the good days when people were playing Marvel vs. Capcom. Because they know what played it now. Because they're not re-releasing them. It's the problem. <laughs> yeah, because... The license. I even, oh, here we go. We're back to the power circle. Uh, shake it, but I, shake it. I don't know. I think, I'm pretty sure Bayonetta has something similar. Because I know... Uh, Transformers has something yeah, similar to this. Yeah, it, it has you do the uh, the big hair summons and you just mash the A button and you get gigatons. Um, yeah, I don't. Know. I'm trying to think of any other Platinum game does it because I know Transformers does well, it. They all do it. Does Wonderful 101 do it? Yes, because you'll make big fists. Uh, Wonderful 101's QT. Oh, da, no, I did oh. it again. <gasps> no, right at the end. <laughs> this is the. This is the Black Herbarian's <laughs> ultimate trick. You know, this is how you know he's the champion. <laughs> yeah, but that's never something I've never seen. I've never seen like nah. the when you disconnect the control. I didn't realize it has a unique prompt for it. Mm -hmm. And you take out the mad. It's not just saying. <laughs> and then they open. just drop. They drop him back too. Yeah, but that's not it. Because you, you no. that was only the power struggle. Yeah. Now, now you got the finisher. Time to finish him. Oh, and I love the finisher so much. Oh, she does help you. She's like, yeah. Well, she only helps you because she lost. Yeah, she's like, I don't like you anymore. I never liked. I never liked you to begin with. Oh, I forget her name's Matilda. <laughs> we'll remember in Anarchy Reigns that. <laughs> Man darts. Oh, Matilda. You kill him by the, by the first way you first saw him die. It's like poetry, it rhymes. Hey. I love this part, though. Before you even launch him, bring him up. 
<laughs> he just gives him bitch slaps. <laughs> well, now now it's not even part of the job. This is just a uh, Jack B having some fun. Yeah, he can he can find some pleasure in this games. I mean, he's done it four times at this point. <laughs> So, was it the Blacker Baron, or was it the Agent 13 who changed up the game? Because we were talking about that, like, how something, uh, I think basically, it, the games got hijacked. And I was trying to figure, like, it was, it well, was the no, Black there, Baron, right? It had to be, because uh, Agent 13 was only was only just along with the right, because he's been with uh, Death Watch since the beginning. Okay. Yeah, he, he, he was only one of the support. Yeah, he, he's just one of the supporters. But since, again, he's a sponsor, he can't really do much. It's really only up since, again, even if he changed anything. Other sponsors would probably deny his thing and just bring back. I guess thing probably like the reason why the sponsors stuck with the modern Death Watch thing is because they were getting money out of it too. It's the root of all evil. Hey, rank number one. We're number one. Number one assassin. I won. I won, but at what cost? No cost, really. Well, I mean, how it much did the game cost? It was free. Hooray! No, no I, it, 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 it starts with the Thanos meme, and then it goes into the lazy towel meme of nothing. It's for free. Wow. <laughs> and all the confetti. I love this. He's, he's just like, eh, I'm just going to chill. And I think that's snow. Could be. Could be going for either or there. <laughs> it's hard to tell with the black and white color palette. <sighs> but he's just chilling. You can't do that. That's cheating. I already won. Oh, I love this moment. And this is when Price for Freedom starts playing, and Jack has to survive to the end. I also love how he's just like nonchalantly like, I don't care about these guys ready to kill me. At our considerable expense. Dude, I killed everybody here. Sucks to be you. I'll kill these guys too. <laughs> and I'll kill you. You don't really want to mess with the person who wins your psycho death game. Like, you end up with a killer at the end. Especially, especially when, especially since he's killed in three other games as well. <laughs> well. There you go. But it's also like he killed, he killed everybody. How are these three or four random people gonna kill him? Because he's just chilling. And also, yeah, they just uh, Leon, him. Leon S. Kennedy. Wow. Yeah, it literally is just Leon S. Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> Hairstyle and all. And then watch this. It's because Jack is the president. How daughter. is he this fast though? Like we weren't this fast. <laughs> what? We 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 were, we're, we're, we were holding Jack back. <laughs> you can't do this in the game. Can't do this in the game either. Jack, Jack, oh. are you okay? I wish he just lifted him up to the I, helicopter. I love how place. badass is. It's just he has to take it out. He just he punches Jack, it. Out. He destroys it while it's still in his ear. Ow! Looks like I'm the one in need of a rescue. Jack. I'm glad I made it in time. I saw you going to the tower, so I snuck in after you. You snuck in? <laughs> this game really does kind of set him up to be like uh, this secret extra boss, kind of how Henry is in No More Heroes. I mean, what? especially with everyone thinking like, oh, these games are so similar. Re the game really could have gotten himself going with uh, an after the final boss, final boss. Yeah, and then it just ends yeah. with yeah, it just ends with Jack basically being like, "Fuck everything, I don't give a yeah, shit." Yeah, but it makes sense because you got to remember, Travis was in the bathroom when Henry inter when Henry saved him. This guy saved him. Jack was just chilling. He killed other people, and he's like, "I could just kill you too," you know. Like he didn't catch me off guard. You actually caught him at his peak. He just won murder games, and he's ready to do some more murdering. Any self-respecting country. He's also like, "Oh, I know your secret. I know you're responsible for this shit." I don't want my lawyer. I've got... I've got nothing to say to you. Not even one little thing. I like how he's like, I want my lawyer. I was wondering why... Yeah, why watch. is your lawyer going to help you when Getting you're dead? Out about the virus was the goal. Why risk an uncontrolled element like the games? Jack. You're here to arrest me, right? Like the games. Hurry or, or I'm going to die on you. <laughs> what? Oh no! A character might die in Mad World. Oh, how, how awful! I'm no champion. I love this cynical side of Jack. Yeah. not its bitch. This, the, the, these lines are great. <laughs> what? Like, well, I mean, it also kind of goes to show you that if the game didn't go with the whole 
like comic book That's look through the whole game. We could have gotten cutscenes like because these are engaging. Like this, you see the art style at work versus throughout the game when we just had the cutouts and stuff. It, oh, it really on, obscured a lot and kind of made the cutscenes less. Well, definitely more difficult to follow. My dad wanted the vaccine. And all, and also the uh, the uh, cinematography of all is done really well. I'm gonna guess that this is also very Sin City. Yeah, this is very. This is like a lot of the way the camera's moving and like the angles of all the. I mean, like the, the all, 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 all the snow with the, all the snow especially is taken. Like that that that, 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 that that's in a lot of Sin City stories. But the game, Jack. Yeah, and then he turns out it's just like Leo's just like he, he he's an he's an he's an adrenaline junkie and he's just like oh my my, my my dad was doing all that vaccine shit I just wanted to watch people get murdered. Wow, that's some deep meta ass shit for an M rated game on the Wii. <laughs> now, help me. And it's like they even pointed out Jack's not even here to like use the like he's not gonna arrest him he's actually just gonna straight up kill him. Yeah, because he because he, he doesn't care. He's like, he, I'm not really. I'm just people. doing. Yeah, I don't help people. He does. He gave like the only person he actually trusted in the entire game. He's just and, like, and at this eh. point, and at this point, I'm not paying attention to the TV. So I'm like, <laughs> oh. this is just like that. This is just like from Metal Gear Solid, where it's like, shoot your mom. Like, <laughs> you could just stay there and just not do anything. Just not shoot your mom and just turn the game off. <laughs> so the problem is though, this one isn't. This guy, this is just some random guy who caused the problems of the game. So let's murder him. What? Do no, absolutely. Yeah, There's no reason to hesitate on this murder. <laughs> Ooh. Goodbye. <laughs> and that's how we. And then normal Resident yeah. Evil Four. And that's how we killed off the Resident Evil Four and... remake. I mean, it's no like back sheaf, whatever. But you know, that's the blood makes it. <laughs> I kill them. Ah, oh, it's so good. It's so cool, man. I I love I love Steve Bloom. I I, I, I love that dude so much. He can make this, this part of the sexiest voice. All right, and time money. for the credit sequence. Credit for us, if you ask me, I didn't. We <laughs> we made it to the end. Hooray! I, 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 I don't I don't know if you can actually control this. I don't I I I don't, I, don't, I didn't check to see, but I think I, I just think gotta let it. Yeah. I don't think you can. But this yeah, is so a really this, great so yeah. credit sequence, though. Music is fantastic. Good music. I, I and mean, you have the announcers. The whole announcers still going off, so talking all over the credits. So We're talking shit to all the creators. All oh, this shit, dude. I didn't know you were a programmer. I think my ex-wife slept with all these guys. What? Man, you just get stuck throughout the entire class. game. It's just his defining character quality. <laughs> they always just bring up his wife. <laughs> his ex-wife. Just bring up the ex-wife and her boyfriend. Modelers, not models, you idiots. They're still ugly. The lead animator is the lower intestine of the animation world. Yep, because he's full of shit. <laughs> God, the there's some truth to that. To I think you mean they're the guys who get no action their whole life. Yeah, what did I say? If he's the lead artist, I'd hate to see the morons he leads. <laughs> artists are like a rash. You don't know yeah, where they like, come from. I like this whole like New York skyline looking no city. They yeah, the, like the, 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 this, they this, this whole ending, like just like the, the way that like, Jack's ending and then him driving off, just makes me like, man, I, I want more. I want more Jack. I want to see what I like, like especially like how it ends. Like, well, what's he gonna do now? Is he just like, who, who is he gonna work for now, just to use for his own game? Who's he gonna kill next? Yeah, yeah but sadly, this game yeah. kind of does end off just like. Yeah, Doesn't very kind of... a disappointment after the amazing Like, there's really no way that they can make a sequel to this. Yeah, Let me. Yeah, unless they do some other type of murder game, but or or, or without, they have to do another one without Jack. Well, I, I, I think, I think you, you, you could you 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 could you could still do a game with Jack. I mean, cause it's not like Jack's like. Like I mean, like I'm, I'm, unless unless he, well, I mean, I guess he could die in Anarchy Reigns because I don't I don't know about it since I haven't played it. But um, the Anarchy Reigns, is, I've heard, from what I've heard, is just a weird like alternate reality thing. Like you could make a Mad World sequel, and it just doesn't it doesn't follow Death Wish, the, the Death Watch. It could be something else. Well, like you had said in one of the previous parts, you could do just another character uh, versus uh, Jack's, you know, brute 
murder existing for score you could do in the sequel another character that like you said has a more flashy move set um, so pro probably not not even go with the whole chainsaw man but you know, then you drive the risk of making it way too different but i think you could you could do a new protagonist in another type that could even be part of the mystery of mad world 2 would be like well why how is there another death block like what i thought jack took care of you could do something Fun with that. These guys couldn't frame yeah. Howard for sex and all, I mean, all, all, yeah, also that, that that whole that whole gameplay style. Like, I, th I think it, it deserves to. I I, I want to see it like on either like on like the Switch controls or regular uh, PlayStation or Xbox controls because it's like yeah, like the the Wii controls work for the game, but it's very it's definitely the case of like oh, it's still kind of dated overall. And I like I, I w it sucks that this is like one of the few platinum games that's never like I mean like Vanquish and Bayonetta got re-released a bunch. Wonderful 101, of course finally got re-released uh, re yeah. yeah so like, it's like yeah, mad could, world's just can, yeah this game could use some more quality of life improvements really i think it would benefit yeah. from just getting remastered or just all together with all the the experience that platinum games has with making fantastic action games i think they could go back to this they could come back yeah. to this franchise and just bless it i mean but before we get to that we just appreciate the song soul the, the, the ending song to this game, I would argue, is one of the greatest pieces of video game music. And I don't just mean that as like, oh, songs with lyrics or whatever. Like, I'm comparing this to like, you know, your Wiley 2, your st Sticker Brush Symphony. I feel this is a beautiful song. Like, I know it's just a thug rap uh, anthem at the end to get you all pumped, but I think this is one of the best songs in a video game. I love the techno. I love the dial. I love the techno music. Aaron Weber! Oh my gosh! <laughs> hey. Assistant beauty manager. Hey, <laughs> we've seen that guy er from a distance. Early, be early beginnings. He worked on this game. <laughs> we should get him so, to sign our copies. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, so I, I need to find my copy. <laughs> so final thoughts, both of you guys, because we just gotta get like two minutes, one or two minutes left. Uh, you first, Kilo. Uh, I genuinely think like this is a really fun game, and it. I think when it comes to like this is being Platinum's first project under the Platinum name, they did such a good job of it, and I, from just like the visual style to the gameplay, to even like the just the story bits of having the kind of plot twist near the end, uh, especially with Jack, and just gosh, the music's so good. <laughs> and I really wish we could see a game like this where one, it's based around killing in unique ways to get to get rewarded for it, you know. I really do like this game, though. Which one was the producer? Uh, he showed up that one time. It was that one. That stupid fucker. Oh, man. But I agree. I I love this game. I think it has some it has some awkwardness to it, and I think that's more its, it's age. I think that's more just from the studio um, that made it. But yeah, go, go through it. It's definitely a game that kind of can change if you're kind of... Wait, wait. You don't help right people. You kill them. Now you kill with two people. Now you can do it even more. Uh, the katana yeah. cannot be used. The double chainsaw cannot be used. Oh, right. You forget. You get the super weapons in the game. Yeah, the now game's the like, real... play this game again. Now the real playthrough begins. See, in the first part. <laughs> <laughs> this, whole, this whole LP is actually just an endless loop. You gotta go back and watch part one again. And you have to watch part one again, and the gameplay will be different. <laughs> Ooh, snazzy. Yeah, and like like I said throughout pretty much this whole LP, like they said, it's like yeah, it, 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 it's it's such a super fun, it's just a super fun game. It does it it, it you it, it does everything that all the rest of Platinum games does just as well. There's maybe yeah, there's, there's a lot of like uh, quality of life stuff that new Platinum stuff like managed to fix and it is kind of dated in a lot of ways. But I just I just I love that I love the Sin City aesthetic. It's just the the the, the insanity of the violence is just like endless endlessly enjoyable and it's 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 one of those things like yeah and the game the game's super cheap so it's like if you if you enjoy like that kind of that kind of humor that kind of like uh craziness and it's like you probably find it online for like five ten bucks we yeah we, I know you have a it, Wii, it, it we know you all out. have a Wii. everybody okay. has a, a Wii. you might even have a Wii U. you can you can do it you'll, i got my fun. copy at a convention for five bucks damn so it's like yeah you can get this game relatively cheap yeah, it's, it's not like a, it's not like a couple other um, uh, platinum games, which may like they may be more like rare or whatever. But it's like yeah, like the, the, this one, yeah. it's like yeah, you 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 have no problem finding it, so it is definitely worth checking out. I would say more like I think it depends on the game because again, I got like 
Transformers Devastation for twenty bucks. Okay. Well, I mean, there are some stuff like I mean, uh, like like I mean, to a TMNT Mutants in Manhattan, but that that was also like external circumstances. Uh, Wonderful 101 was kind of like before it got oh. re-released. That was like hard to find. So yeah, it's like, but I, I was gonna even say Transformers Devastation. It's kind of hard to find because unless you find like a physical copy. The game's not online in stores anymore. Cause they... Yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah. Like, Platinum <sighs> does, like, there, there is that weird thing, but it's, like, yeah. O- overall. Thanks, yeah, Hasbro. Just, <laughs> overall, play play, play the game. Play it. Do it. Okay. And support Platinum Games. They make good stuff, for crying out loud. Give Show them that, you know, we like their games. We want more of their games. Because they don't, in, like, a business standard, they don't sell that well. But gosh dang, are they the some of the best games we've played. I was, about, I was about to say, I was about to say, well, what do they got coming up? But it's like, oh, Bayonetta three, we Bayonetta three coming? <laughs> question mark. That's so, been announced. That it's still been in limbo for three years. I think it's been over a thousand days at this point since it's been announced. Ooh, they're making it sit set place in limbo this time. Awesome. Yeah, you got you got that. You got uh, you got uh, the Grand Blue Fantasy, which is also kind of I think it's coming out next year, but that's still mm-hmm. kind of a a question mark. And then you got uh, Babylon's Fall, which also has a kind of like a question mark release. So, for uh, but, uh, yeah, support Platinum Games. We don't know when their next game is coming out yet, but when it wait, when it does, support them. And hopefully, there'll be chainsaws in it. Yes, there has to be. Or, or or flying dragons. I'll take them flying dragons, please. And good music. 